guys, Swords Pop Fan here. Today we'll be reviewing the Bandai Vinyl Godzilla in 1954. I'm sorry. Yeah, what up? That, that That's the wrong figure. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to review then? Um, the figure on the right. On the right? Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's just. Let's, let's just put that aside. Um. I guess we'll just. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna be reviewing the the NECA Godzilla Nick 54. Here's the big guy here. Now the, the Godzilla that started it all. Now let's just get this big guy in. Oh, really chunky fella. All right, um, let's get his tail, of course. Um, let's get his beam. Um, oh, this one has an atomic breath piece. Okay, so this has to be the the reissue. Yeah, I think it's the reissue because I don't think the original release came with the, the beam. Let's pop this in. Oh, oh, oh! That was easy. That was easy. That was really easy. Not, not not the 2014 one. That that one was a pain in the butt. Now let's just move this guy right here and just review the beam. Yeah, really nice dry brushing on the like the white dry brushing. Really, like really um releases all of the beam of all its glory. Really cool. Really cool, really cool, really cool. Um, now this big guy, I've been waiting for. Really cool, really cool, really cool look. It's really uh movie accurate. Really um, really accurate of the suit. He, he is, and he is kind of hefty. Really hefty, actually. As of this one, he, he's just really light as a feather, but. Like this, this right, thing's so still light, but here, there's really nice dry brushing. Yeah, he, he, you know, really good. That's paint a good way to on the nails, you know. Oh. Now nice. let's um, no, review feet, on the paint. Feet are really nice, and really well done. So are the legs, the tail, the dorsal plates, all of it is exquisitely done. The mouth is really good, and the teeth are well painted. Now the only problem I have is the eyes. The eyes look a little goofy, but. That, 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 it is what it is. Other than that, it, it's pretty cool, uh... Now, let's just, um, go with the articulation. Um, we got a ball joint system right here. Um... You got one, two sets of ball joints. You got a hinge joint on the mouth. Really simple, but re really cool gimmick. Um, now his torso. Uh, he may sound stiff, but he's really not, and for the most part. Um, this can go side to side really well, and he can. Really crouched down pretty, pretty not, re, really nicely, you know, but you can't really crouch up really, like, really that well. Um, his arms, I'm only gonna review on one of the arms. It's, it's a ball joint right here. There's a hinge joint right here. Ball joint on the hand. And a hinge joint for the fingers, which is a really cool gimmick. I wish that SH Monsters could do that, even though I haven't had one. I don't, I don't really have one, but I, I do see, I do notice that SH Monsters doesn't really have a articulated hands. Wish they do that. I wish they could do that. Like could have done that, you know. That was barely English. Um. Now the legs are pretty lackluster. I would have to admit. 
really, really, really bad spread. Spread's not that good. Like, his, um, his leg can, can spread that far and can, like, go inward this far. Yeah, it's very, the legs are very stiff. They're not very functional. But they do what they can, and they have a ball joint on the, on the foot. Um, we got one, two, three, technically four with the bendy wire. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, or else the wire would break over time. But yeah, that's the figure. Uh, that's the figure's articulation. Now, here's the size comparison. Here's the Bandai Vinyl Godzilla 1954. Here is the Mecha Godzilla 2014, side by side. as far as the 2014 can go and here it is yeah I, I lost his arm like I, I kind of dropped it kind of it kind of broke so it was kind of like yeah wow and here is the Bandai final final wars goji my first Godzilla figure I ever had um, so, what do I rate it? I would rate it, um, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. No, not a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I really do like this figure. I really do love it, actually. The only problem I have it is, at least with mine, is the eyes. The eyes look a little weird. But hey, it is what it is. I could always repaint. Nah, I'm not going to repaint it, actually. I'm, I'm not really all so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, but for now, I would rate it a 9.5 out of 10. And to be honest, I like this more than this guy. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love it. I'll give it a like, and I'll, I gave it a nine, I think. But this, this is slightly better. It has slightly better detail, slightly better paint. And slight and, and has a slight advantage of articulation, in my own opinion. But yeah, that's that's the review, and uh, see you then. Bye, guys.